Hey, you guys. Welcome to the Indie Rundown Podcast. This is Michael Tula alongside Zach Salasad and Rupert Sanchez. They say hi. Uh, we're going to do a <laughs> review of <laughs> uh, Vincent DeSante's Womp Stomp Films, Never Hike in the Snow, a Friday 13th fan film. This is kind of a review of the movie, so I'll go ahead and pass it along to my uh, co-hosts, cohorts, whatever you want to call it, the two youths in the video as well. Uh, what'd you think about the movie? Well, you know, uh, I got to say, I really like uh, DeSante's approach to this, you know, planning out these installments, you know, very meticulously, very carefully, because when we watched the movie and it ended the way it ended, I was like, wait, that's it? Uh, hold on. What's what's up with this? What's up with this? Where, what happened? You know, it ended kind of abrupt, abruptly for me. So, you know, it's nice to know uh, this was previously unknown knowledge to me, but now it's nice to know he has more in the can. So we'll get to revisit those characters and, uh, I kind of like it. It's like anthology stuff. It's kind of like, you know, little pieces and pieces of the puzzle. But yeah, man, uh, I enjoyed it. It was a good watch. Uh, from a technical side of things, it was beautiful. You know, very good uh, camera quality. Locations were great, just like Never Hike Alone. Some of the acting was a little bit lackluster, but it wasn't enough to kill the movie for me. You know, there's still enjoyable uh, moments in the film. And um, the tension, you know, tension's always great with Jason. I'm not a big friday the 13th fan as you guys are but from the friday the 13th movies that i've seen in the past i think this did a really good job of replicating that you know the essence and lore of jason and uh, stuff like that so yeah i mean at the end of the day it was cool that was great from a technical perspective i thought it was really well put together um lighting wise you know people there's so many moving like moving sequences right like they're pushing you from one from one location to another without you know what I mean? Cutting away or whatever. It's like a long, longer tracking shot. And those things are complicated to light, mm -hmm. you know, especially at night. Um, so I thought, I thought from a technical perspective, from a lighting camera perspective, it was really well put together. Um, and yeah. And then the, the, you, um, to uh, Mike, you mentioned the, the body cam stuff. That stuff is not as easy as we, one would think because those cameras aren't as light sensitive as, as the normal camera. So you have to light it more, you know what I mean? And this is a, different approach um so yeah no i thought i thought it was really well put together from a technical perspective and then from from just a story perspective i really enjoyed it i thought it was it was in line with with like if you would have not told me it was a fan film i would have been like okay cool like this seems like a like a you could take this little 20 minutes and put it in a jason movie and it doesn't you know what i mean like it doesn't stand out as something different you know it's, it feels like it belongs in the same universe so i thought that was great Okay, uh, awesome. And so we have, um, listen, 13,000 views. This was released 9 Eastern time. It's now 10.53 Eastern time, 13,000 views already. That's so crazy. these guys are going to get a lot of burn yeah. off of this. And there's something to be said. Listen, they, they um, you know, from my point of view, uh, Never Hike Alone was a great slow burn. It was almost like someone who hikes alone and his vlog and his blog and did a great job setting him up uh, uh and andrew the actor and that did an awesome job pretty much having to carry the film from an acting standpoint for about 80 90 90 percent of it because he was the only character other than jason uh who played uh, with vincent desante played did an excellent job as well um it was kind of like a slow burn kind of like a uh semi found footage type movie that was really well done and then this one was like something completely different uh which i appreciated a lot and listen uh, again technical standpoint shooting in the snow i can only imagine you know i mean rupert you could tell you know you're, you're the camera guy i don't know it, to me it seems like it'd be a pain in the ass and i saw on the by the scenes footage that they yeah. had to wait for the damn snow to come down so a lot of stuff that's out of your control that you have to plan for hope for wait for so yeah. big props to them for putting together a beautiful film. And I thought that it's set up, you know, it, I, it'd be interesting to see how this would, you know, from people who hadn't seen Never Hike Alone, how this sets it up, you know, for someone who's going to watch it like that. But um, anything else? Otherwise, we're going to wrap this up. I'm good, man. Let's get out of here. It looks like we're going to wrap this up, ladies and gentlemen. Again, that's, uh, yeah, Andy Rundown Podcast uh, review of Never Hike in the Snow. Got the link down below. We got the link down below for um, 
if, if Zach wants to put the trailers, we'll have them down there. If he yeah, wants to put there, the yeah. link to the film, we'll have it down there. If he wants to have Never Hike alone, we'll have it down there as well. Uh, we'll check there, down man. below for the links. He'll throw it all in there. Even my phone number too. That there too. Why the yes. hell not? And, yeah. and and yeah, leave a link. Tell us what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed it as well. Uh, if you enjoyed Never Hike Alone. And uh, that's about it. Again, Zach, Rupert, it's Mike. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown. And like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.